Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today is Monday, February 11th, 2019. And today, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm outside again. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a little bit more of uh, talking about Merida, talking about living in Mexico, talking about just living abroad, um, cost of living, what, um, you know, just some examples of certain things, answering some questions, and uh, just talking about that stuff. <clears throat> the reason I'm not talking about crypto and stuff like that today is because it's the same old stuff. You know, we can talk about it in two seconds. There's lots of great crypto news. Um, nothing really going on anywhere within the markets. Um, Venezuela still going down. Stuff in France is still going down. Um, same old, same old. Again, why I live in Mexico because I'm trying to get away from all the insanity that's happening all over the world. Why you guys are probably watching this as well because you guys are also probably thinking the same thing and so on and so forth. Now, when it comes to, you know, cost of living, when it comes to, um, you know, a, a lot of things out here in Mexico, um, one of the main questions I get asked a lot, and in, in the last video I got this question asked, um, by you guys, so I just figured I got to answer it. Um, I've kind of briefly t touched on this subject a couple times, but not much. Um, so let's talk about medical bills and the doctor and what it costs, you know, for just something basic or something normal or what have you. Now, I myself haven't really gone to like a doctor for a checkup or anything like that yet, but I know people that have, <clears throat> that live here, <clears throat> and they have relayed the information back to me as to how um, all this works. So, for example, um, I were, like let's just go back. Let, let's start with like a medical emergency, okay? I remember a few days before um, Christmas or some shit like that. I was literally stuck out here on this balcony, okay? What happened was uh, here. Let me give. Well, I don't want to move the camera just yet. I'll show you in a second. But about uh, yeah, a couple days before Christmas or a day before Christmas or some shit like that, um, I came out here to hang out on my balcony, and uh, a gust of wind came in from the other side locked this door locked me out here and i was locked on this balcony so i literally had to break back into my my own house from the balcony and there was no other way and in the process i got an injury here which is already pretty healed up pretty good guys in case anyone's curious and i had to get like eight stitches you know total okay but before that happened i was like oh crap this happened now what and what am i going to do it's late at night where am i going to go i don't know anything i don't know anyone whatever so i you know after i kind of took care of the trauma i just I, I had no choice but to go online look up a hospital i know there's a hospital really close to the walmart where i'm where i kind of where i live in the area like a 15 minute walk so i told myself you know what Th there's nothing i can do here i need to go to the hospital i need to get this fixed asap so i went straight to the hospital thinking like in the u.s oh my god this is going to cost me an arm and a leg it's going to cost me a lot of money that i don't have what am i going to do blah 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 anyways long story long um, but from the minute that I walked in there to the minute that I walked out, okay, you know, all sewn up with my bill, paid, and, and everything, um, it was around 45 minutes, and it cost me around 45 bucks, U.S., give or take. So, the, a medical emergency like this, okay, in which I needed to go in there, get stitches, get it fixed, get medicine, get, get the whole shebang, um, not only did it only take 45 minutes, but it cost me 45 US dollars. Now, um, I did a little investigating on what it cost to, let's say, go to a doctor. Almost all pharmacies out here have some sort of doctor. And um, the doctor that is, you know, part of the pharmacy doesn't even get paid. They get paid on tips. So, for example, you go in, you talk to the doctor. Um, if you tell him what's going on and if you need a prescription, he'll write you one. If he doesn't, you don't. Um, but whatever. It's just like a little doctor's visit and you pay him on tips. Usually, um, the tips vary from anywhere to 40 pesos to 100 pesos, all depending on, you know, what he did for you and that whole shebang. So... You know, 40 pesos is $2, 100 pesos is $5. So that's what you would pay for a doctor's visit here. And if you need medicine and you need anything, you will get it right away. If you need more extensive um, medical work or a, 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 a more specialized doctor or what have you, you can also get that. I don't know those prices. I don't know the prices on those things, but I'm guessing they're also relatively, you know, not super crazy expensive. Now, um, when uh, so so that's the that's the whole medical bill thing. Okay, now by the way, it's it's even more expensive for me because I am here 
as a U.S. citizen. I'm on here on a tour. I'm here on a tourist visa and that whole situation. So right off the bat, it's more expensive for me. For a typical Mexican, or if you out there decide to come out here and you're eventually become a uh, an Amer, uh, what is it, a Mexican? Um, you have your what is it? Your your per, your your ah, now you're permanent. Your what is it? Your uh, Temporary residency, which is your green card. If you have your temporary residency or if you're already a resident or a citizen, then obviously things will be cheaper as well. So that's goes, you know, that's that. Now, I I also did a little bit more on, no, okay, that's that subject. Now, next subject, let's talk about salaries and the people's salaries around here and what people make and so on and so forth. I also did a little bit more investigating in the last couple days and I was pretty dead on right. In fact, if anything, I was I maybe overshooting it or but I was pretty on. So a typical employee here, like let's say you're working at Walmart or Burger King or at just a regular job, you're getting paid 500 US dollars a month. If you're a professional professional, you're probably gonna be getting paid a little more than that. You know, let's just say 800, maybe a thousand dollars, all depending on what you exactly do. But that's pretty much what the salary is out here, okay? But as you guys already know, things are relatively cheap. We've, we talked about this in the last episode. Uh, link is at the end of this episode in case you guys want to check that out, in case you haven't checked it out yet. So, you know, that's the price, um, you know, what, what a typical Mexican makes out here. So I was pretty dead on right. So if you come out here and you are somehow able to make money online, you know, let, you, know you have a job in which you work from your computer, um, you guys already know if you get paid in dollars that's not much you know what i mean meaning that you you guys could be living like kings most people live like kings out here i came out here literally with a like again it's all documented you guys can check it out go back eight months now or some shit like that well guys that's it today is the last day i'm out here in la um as of tomorrow i'm gonna be in mexico well i'm here in la Smoking my last blunt. Here's my luggage. Waiting for. Uh, hold on. <laughs> waiting for the Uber. Well, waiting for the. Waiting for the Uber. Where I smoke my last blunt here in LA. Uh, it's five in the morning. About to head the fuck out of here. Ah, the adventure begins. Pretty crazy, guys. Hey, guys. I know you guys probably can't see me right now. But um, I just got here a little while ago. A couple hours ago. Um, it's close to 9 p.m. right now, and you, I know again, I, I really thought you can see anything right now, but I'm out here, as you already can see, you're in nowhere. <laughs> and um, I literally came out here with a thousand five hundred dollars to my name, and no real job, no real opportunity, no real um, link, no real nothing. I just came out here on a whim and I made it happen. Well, I don't know anybody out here, nothing, nothing, all right, and um, I made it work now granted i do know spanish all right and that helped a lot but regardless um no matter who you are out there um e even if you don't choose to come to somewhere like mexico there's a lot of places around the world I, again we a lot of you guys we've all talked about this back and forth you know where there's other places that you, some people out there might like let's say you know thailand or other places in asia or there's other places a lot of places around the world which are equally as awesome as mexico to me I just think Mexico is the most awesome for now because it's where I'm at, where I am, and it's it's been treating me, you know, better than awesome. So that's where that is there. Okay, so you know, you can come out here with almost barely nothing, and if you speak Spanish, you're good to go. And if you don't speak Spanish, say you speak a little bit of Spanish, but you have a nice little income, whether it's something that comes in from the government or you have you know your own income from your own business or your own job that you can do online and so on and so forth listen you're good to go you're good to go all right and eventually once you get settled in out here like i'm getting settled in you can move on and work around here do business out here put your own place so on and so forth all right so that's just my own personal two cents on that now um let, let's now, now what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to just give you a quick tour of my place and we're just gonna go through the things um, around the house and go through cost and just you know finish the video that way now I know I did a, a, a house tour not too long ago but I think I, I did it alongside or in the middle of a crypto video and so it just kind of got lost so that's why I'm dedicating this whole video to just this stuff all right now 
let's get to the balcony, the infamous balcony. In case you guys forgot about the balcony, this is the balcony in which I got stuck on, okay? So what happened was that, you know, this thing went along and locked me out, okay? Now you see, I put a little safety something here now. I leave this open so I can bust through here in case I need to. But what happened was that when I got locked out here, um, I had to bust through this because that's all there was. This thing was all locked, everything was locked. I was out here in my underwear. It was not fun. And then that subsequently led me to go to the hospital. But anyways, so that's that. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the house. Now, I this house I pay in rent around uh, 1,000, no, sorry. What I pay in rent for this place is around 175 to $200 us a month it varies because again the the mexican peso and the dollar the exchange rate is varying and it varies month to month so that's why i can't be exact plus i also have the light bill you know which i have to pay which varies as well you know um we'll go through that in a second but you know just to just so you can get an idea of what you can get from my price also people have been asking me if the price that i got is that typical now yes and no now for me to get what i got it took a while meaning that you know it took me a lot of work it took me a lot of um i don't know if you guys can see me i just realized it might be dark in here it, it took a lot of um it took a lot of uh, work on my part in order to find this place um and help from others and so on and so forth but you know you can eat you can find places like this the the one thing that i'm going to give you guys as a tip out there is if you're an american or you're coming from europe and you're just straight up out here in mexico and, P and the mexicans can straight up tell that you know you're not from around here then you gotta remember people are pretty much starving here you know and it's not that they're starving but it's just that you know they see you with a couple more bucks to spend no matter if you're poor or not they don't know that they don't see that and they're just gonna might want to increase the rent and might want to do all this stuff so for example when i was calling about this place when i was uh, doing the whole um uh, negotiations and all that stuff, you know, I'm, yo estoy hablando en español, so como yo hablo español, aunque no sea mexicano y es cubano, it goes a long way. What I was just saying there is that when I, when I was speaking in Spanish, you know, I, I can speak very fluent Spanish. Now, it might not be Mexican Spanish, but it's 100% Cuban Spanish, and that's enough. Spanish is Spanish, and you can understand, and again, you know, Mexico is just like any other place on earth. There's going to be a, a bunch of cool people, but hey, every once in a while, you never know. So you got to just be vigilant of that so that's why you got to do your homework and you got to do all this stuff now if you go out and get a realtor if you go out there and go through a company or you do any of these things it might be more expensive all right that's all i got to say if if you um hire somebody out there that um you know they got to get paid and so on and so forth so that's why you know to me a friend just helped me out and i did most of the work and then bam i got here and the end now when it comes to prices even though I pay what I pay, the most that you're going to fucking pay out there is probably going to be like around 300 to 400 USD a month, give or take. And let me explain why. Because when I, when I first got to Mexico, um, I stayed in an Airbnb, all right? And you know what? I'm going to show you guys around the house a little bit, all right? Just in case, all right? But anyways, I got to an Airbnb, and um, which you've seen in the video before. And if you haven't, you're going to see that at the end of this video. So this is just my place. It's all, it all came fully furnished. This place came also fully furnished as well. So that's another benefit to this. A lot of times when you rent the place, it comes empty, dead empty. So you gotta fill the place. So these are things like that, you know what I mean? So, you know, there's a lot of things that you gotta look into. There are things that are different when you come out here. They're not exactly the same. So I, 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 had, I made sure to get a fully furnished place. And there are a lot of fully furnished places out here because there's a lot of people like us. So they know that already. But, um, but yeah, I, I stayed in an Airbnb that was um, very nice and it cost me I think like 400 or 450 bucks for the whole month it was actually a little more than a month a month and a little longer so you know with that being said you're not gonna pay that amount of money to to rent a place at uh, you know a month the most ex I mean that's what I paid for an Airbnb and I got a whole house to myself so here you know again you're gonna be paying somewhere like if you're lucky like me around 200 bucks a month uh, but the most that you're probably gonna pay is probably like around 300 bucks a month so just plan for that but again even if it's 400 bucks a month you know what you're probably gonna get with 400 bucks a month is a place that will cost you four to five thousand us dollars a month you know meaning that you're probably gonna have a cleaning lady you're probably gonna have like all of these fucking things that you would never imagine like a pool and like a lot of comforts okay 
So that, just keep that in mind. I am living a super minimalist life, very minimalist, everything I'm doing myself and so on and so forth. And so that's why I pay what I pay. You feel me? And there are cheaper alternatives than what I pay, but you know, I wouldn't suggest those. <laughs> just saying. So, all right, so this is my bed. And by the way, I apologize for the mess. I just had a friend um, hang on, hang out here tonight, last night, what have you. Anyways, so this is the bathroom, in case you guys haven't seen, just so you guys can get an idea, okay? So this is a bathroom out here, okay? There's a regular bathroom, you know? All right, this is a, you know, just a regular bathroom, nothing major, all right? Just whatever, what do you need? What more do you need, you know what I mean? Like that's it, a toilet and a fucking shower. What the fuck do you need, you know what I mean? Um, right here is the water here, okay? So it's like 90 degrees out there every day. So really, if you want a hot shower, you really just turn this on and within 10 minutes, you got hot water, boom, you turn it off again, saving a lot of electricity. Um, so that's why electricity is so low here. Um, as well as, for example, look, there's an air conditioner. So let me just see, look, see, you get like a remote control, bam, bam, and it turns on, you feel me? You're good to go, AC, let me turn it off, we don't need it now. Also, every place has a fan. The fucking fans are phenomenal. So, yeah, let me show you guys, just so you guys can get an idea of my morning. So, hold on, here, let me, so you see, I opened these windows, hold on. All right, so you see, look, this is this is my outside, and if you guys can see, like, over there where the palm trees are and all this shit out that way, that's where the sun comes out. So I'm sleeping here, just so you guys can get an idea. All right, uh, you're sleeping here, and you got the you got like literally, see, this is my view. You got the sun just coming up and waking you up. You can't fucking beat that, man. You can't beat that fucking paradise so you got the fucking sun coming up through here you know if you want uh, you wake up you come out here to your fucking balcony i mean come on come on come on get out of here you know it's fucking awesome you got my closet here with fucking just clothes and stuff all right just regular closet um that's it you got like a little cubby hole here don't look pay attention to that mess i gotta do laundry um and that's pretty much it. I mean, so, you know, and again, look, furniture, you know, keep stuff here, my clothes, more furniture, and I just feng shui this place up. So that's that. Okay, now let's go downstairs so I can show you guys around downstairs a little bit, okay? So as you guys can see, is it? Look, I'm going downstairs. Ta da. All right. And then we're downstairs. So downstairs is my, the barn area where I keep Lambo. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up? You got Lambo. It's fucking hot today. It's actually getting hot already. All right, it's fucking February, but it's already getting hot. Um, and again, look at look at the space. You guys have already seen this. It's probably dark. Let me see if I can turn the lights on. But you see, look, the balcony is above us. That's the outside. See, coming in through here. You feng shui this place up a little bit. And so you get all this. No, no, you don't get all the equipment. All right, you don't get my camera. Or anything like that. By the way, in case anyone's out there is curious, it's just my camera, one of my lenses, all right? I'm on my GoPro, obviously. This is for when I go, um, you know, fighting. And that's my part-time job. I'm a Mexican wrestler. But, you know, the, the, the point is that, like, okay, so, like, you know, this is just typical Mexican life. You know, here's your, here's your refrigerator, all right? You got a microwave. You got a kitchen. What more do you want? You got your computer, you got your whatever. You gotta bring your own computer. But the point is, look, let, let's just talk about water. So they say, they always tell you, don't drink the water, don't drink the water. Okay, don't drink the water, don't drink the water. But look, the one thing I tell you guys out there is like, do you guys even drink the water in the US? Yeah, exactly. I don't drink the water in the US. But what they do here is that they actually have a guy, literally he comes every couple days during the week he knocks on my door. Hey, water guy is here. I'm like, oh, cool, whatever. And like, and then he goes, do you need any water? I'm like, yeah, I do. Or I don't. And then he'll bring these gallons. He'll literally bring in the gallon all the way and pop it here. By the way, I just, I just have this one filled with water so I can exercise. Again, I'm fucking ghetto fabulous. But the point is that he'll bring it all the way here and he only charges 30 pesos, which is $1.50. So they literally bring water to your door and then you use this thing here to pump water out. Here, let me show you guys real quick how the pump works. Just so you can get an idea. I think I think you guys can see it there, right? 
See you later. Ta-da! Sorry for the mess there. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. And that's the water. And so, you know, that's how people get the water out here. They don't have fluoridized water. They don't have any of that shit. Um, and again, um, they just make it easy on the water situation. Um, what else can I talk about? I think, I think that's it. I think that's it for now you know what i think that's it if that is it for now i just noticed right now it says we're over 20 minutes okay guys so i really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode um i know i was doing a lot of rambling i give you guys a little bit of a mini tour um i'll, I'll show you guys a little bit of the of the outside um i got my drone so i'll show you my, and i got some drone shots i'm gonna show you guys here And um, that's it, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode um, where we were just talking about a little bit more about cost of living, a little bit more about, you know, you guys get to see where I live, my place, a little tour, a little home tour. And uh, and that's it because that's it. I don't know what else to... <laughs> Anyways, guys, seriously, you guys are the freaking best. I love you guys to death. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please check out all my other videos. Uh, I don't, uh, I talk about all kinds of things, not just Mexico, but I also talk about, um, you know, crypto and politics and so many other things. Okay, so please just check out my channel, and hopefully you'll find something that you like besides, uh, besides Lambo, besides Lambo. He is the hero. All right, guys. Seriously though. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and please leave comments down below ask me more questions help me make more of these videos for you guys i enjoy making these videos oh oh yeah by the way the reason i'm, I'm doing this video is because yesterday when we were going to the beach it, it just started raining you know it's part of being in the tropical weather so it was raining and it was supposed to be cold weather and bam we wake up and it's fucking hot weather you know whatever Again, these are the things that you got to complain about here, right? So that's it. You know, look, let me give you some some more. Um, just like, look, this ten dollars, okay? This costs ten dollars. This whole bottle. All right. This costs a a dollar fifty two dollars. All right, about two dollars for peanut butter, and so on and so forth. So you know, just to get 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 you know, you guys can get a little bit more of an idea. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you the light bill. So let me show you the light bill real quick. Let me see. All right, hold on one second. But yeah, so you guys can see the light bill. Look, this is the light bill for two months right here. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says, you know, so it's 300 pesos a month. So the last couple months, I spent $15 a month on electricity. And then before that, because I was wasting a lot of electricity like a moron because I'm a dumb gringo trying to figure it out, it was actually costing me a lot more. It was... $45 a month, okay? So $45 a month. So again, electricity can vary anywhere from like 50 bucks a month all the way down to $15 a month. It all just depends on your usage and what you do and all so on and so forth. So if I, you know, if I was a, if I was you guys, I would just um, expect the highest and eventually work your way down, all right? Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, okay? You guys are the best and... Um, yeah, sorry I went on long. You can tell I haven't made an episode. I haven't made a video in a few days, all right? <sighs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you efforts tomorrow. Peace.